it has been brought to my attention that Slash has played a less than epic guitar solo. And I don't want to believe it. Slash is one of my favorite guitarists of all time. But a lot of people recommended that I check this solo out, so I'm starting to get a little worried. So let's watch this solo together. Apparently this was at a Video Music Awards and Slash with his band did a tribute to Ozzy Osbourne. So this is the Crazy Train solo we're talking about here. I can't wait to see this. Closing the show is the incredible Slash featuring Molly- Nicki Minaj? What are you doing there? Get off the stage! Actually no, pick up a guitar and play guitar solo for us. Promise I won't do a video about it. Get off the stage! Eyes, nose, mouth! Well, uh, let's skip to the actual solo. I'm sure the cover is sick, but we're addressing the solo here. Okay, here we go. ending to a solo. <laughs> that solo was kind of balls and I know that Slash could do better. Okay, listen. So that solo wasn't horrible. It was just a little... Ooh, fucking fool. <laughs> it, it just wasn't up to Slash's standards, I guess we can say. Like, we've seen way worse solos before. No way have we seen worse solos. <gasps> and I just want to make it perfectly clear, perfectly clear, perfectly clear that I'm not making fun of Slash. I wouldn't be the guitarist I am today without Slash. Though I gotta say, Ozzy did not look very impressed. And even worse than that, he was talking right in the middle of Slash's solo. And that's never a good sign. I mean, if you're playing an epic guitar solo, usually people will wait till after the solo to be like, man, did you see that solo? That was freaking sick! I wonder what Ozzy said there. It's Lim's love dog. Now that doesn't make any sense, though it is Ozzy, so you never know. Because I'm talking. Nah, that doesn't make any sense either. I know what he said. Uh. That blows. Yep, that's gotta be what he says. <laughs> it just makes the most sense. <laughs> that blows. So now it is up to us to figure out what happened with this solo. I do have a couple theories. Theory number one. Right before Slash's solo, Mr. Man Bun here decided to go <laughs> That probably messed Slash up. I mean, that would mess me up if a guy with a man bun did that to me. My other theory is that his guitar was simply out of tune. Listen to the first part of the solo here. That to me sounds like a mild case of guitar out of tunatosis. But let me pick up my guitar and we'll make a proper diagnosis. Okay, so he's going for like a... And it sounds to me... 
Like the D string is probably out of tune. So let me just, uh... Let's see if this sounds better. That's gotta be it! Ha! <coughs> well, that could be why that part sounded like boobs. Yeah, that, that was kind of hesitant too. Maybe he couldn't hear his monitors very well either, so he lost where he was, because he was kind of like... Kind of did it like that. So now that we know why Slash's solo was kind of... I'm going to do a cover of it exactly to how he played it. To Slash's credit, at the end of the song, he demonstrates to us a brilliant guitar technique called the Wrong Note Redemption. Did you hear that? Slash played a bad note, which we all do from time to time, but he just bent the snot out of it until it sounded right. If only Nick Jonas had known about this technique. <sighs> Poor Slash. Between Mr. Man Bun and his and his guitar being out of tune, I'm sure all that just really threw Slash off his game. But now I'm gonna do something just for you, Slash. Because you've been such an inspiration to me over the years, I'm going to repay the favor. I'm going to replay this solo the way you intended it to sound. You know, minus the and guitar being out of tune. So let's do this solo redemption. So there it is, my tribute to one of the greatest guitarists of all time, Slash. And I mean, realistically, Slash could just go on stage and go <laughs> and I would still think he's the best. And I would essentially make out with him. That was awkward. Okay. So if you found a video that you think I should address in a video, email it to guitarrightsactivists at gmail.com. So subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you next time.